Kavana na na na. <laughs> 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 the B-side word. Jeff, you actually gave this article as well. It's um about Carvana. Has anyone heard of Carvana? No. Nope. Is, is that is that the muddy drink? <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's Carva. Mm, oh, I've never okay, heard of it. Okay, I was close. That. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um it's actually not it's actually a few years old, but it's a online used car dealer, right? So if you need a car, instead of going to a car dealership and speaking to dodgy secondhand car salesmen, you buy your car you online. Get... That's a bit of a then... statement. <laughs> and then, <laughs> sorry, not all car salespeople are dodgy. Okay. Oh, right. yes, they are. I'm just going with the stereotype. <laughs> but you buy your car online and then. Of a dodgy, of a dodgy IT guy. And then you go and pick up your car. From a vending machine. That's only, a big uh, vending only, machine. Only if you live in certain countries. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. Um, but the first one was in Washington, D.C. And it's an actual car vending machine. And you it uses a coin to get it out, not just any coin. Um, you get given a specific big Carvana coin. You put it in and it gives you your car. No, it's novelty. Like the novelty like is novelty. huge. Like the coin is huge. Oh, is it massive? Because it's in... Um, it's like because the vending machine's massive, the coin has to be massive, right? Uh, so you bring this coin over and you put it in, and yeah. You, and so then, it's not just any dollar coin no, or no, whatever. No, no. Um, and then basically, you there's like you have seven days to return the car if it's not right for you. Um, if you can upgrade, how to, do you return something into a vending machine? I don't, oh. <laughs> That's like trying to put toothpaste back in the tube. <laughs> I don't know. Maxi, I don't know. be honest with me. Mm. Have you ever tried? Yes. <laughs> How did it go? <laughs> not, 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 not well, successful. but it sounds good. <laughs> Do you know why I tried as well? Why? Because I, w- I was in a like assembly or lecture once and someone told me that you couldn't do it and demonstrated it. I can't remember what his <laughs> analogy was, but I really wanted to be like, yeah, you can watch this. But <laughs> I, I, I couldn't. Anyway, oh, carry on. <laughs> Maxi, that's hilarious. And then... um. So I thought, well, I wonder if this is still about because it could be one of those sort of gimmick things. Mm. Well, it is about and they're in a lot more places now, but not everywhere has the vending machine. So if they don't, if you live in a city without the vending machine, you just get it delivered to you. But it's the basis of the whole online car buying, just sort of, oh, yeah, I want that buy it now. And then it gets either delivered or you go pick it up at the vending machine. Yeah. Pretty cool. I just thought it was uh, pretty cool to have a vending machine that dis- dispenses cars. I thought That's what they I'm should have look at the actual vending. It's a pretty like cool looking thing as well like stru- i imagine i imagine looking at this a lot of dealerships would go this way in terms of structure Storing. of how they build their lots anyway just because it would save so much space yeah um so from a land perspective you wouldn't need as much land um but they have have you seen in new york i remember watching a youtube video before in new york they have kind of like vending machine car parks where like that's what I was going to say. This should be you car, put the car parts. In, like... Yeah, like you put it in and it takes your car away and puts it, stores it. Do you, Alexander, did you, did you ever watch Tokyo Drift? Yes. And do you remember when um, little, was it Little Bow Wow? Was he in yeah. Tokyo Drift? <coughs> yeah. And um, and he was just like, he was uh, like, the cars were coming and there's like a, a Nissan 180. And the guy's like, oh, is that your car? And Lil Bow was like, no, 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 no. Next car, this next car, this <laughs> yeah. soup car comes out. It's like this, uh, I think it was like a Nissan Skyline. He goes, is that your car? He goes, no, no, no. Why didn't you see my car? Why didn't you see my car? And then the Mazda 2 comes, but it's all pimped out. He goes, that's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's my car. <laughs> uh, I love it. They, I feel like um, when it comes, like this kind of, I, would you buy a car online without ever looking, like going to see it? I mean, <sighs> if it was brand new, if it was the, brand new, the, I would. these are are not brand new. These are um these are second hand. However, um because you've got the seven day return, um you can also upgrade to have a test drive. But they've all been a hundred and fifty point inspected, rigorous hundred and fifty point inspection. Um they have they can never have had an That's accident. Just- a reported accident. Um, no frame damage. <laughs> no frame. No damage. reported frame damage. <laughs> um, All right, but okay. So this is something. 
yeah. I want to give you an inside perspective on secondhand cars because I've worked for a secondhand car salesman before. Um, so oh, were well, you one of the dodgy salesmen? That's no, why you got no, offended. When I was in, no, no, how, not at all. How dodgy, was, how dodgy were you? I'm not gonna lie. These vending machines <laughs> taking our jobs. The, the guy, the guy who, um, she, bas- okay, basically, when I was at my uh, second university for a short while, I worked for one of my assistant coaches. He owned a second hand car lot, and my job most of the time was going to the auctions to pick up the cars that we were gonna sell and bring them back. Um, which was that meant- because you were taller than all the other auctioneers? No, we Wait, were, what? All, all of all of us were basketball players. So the whole like, oh, so like <laughs> everyone worked there were basketball players. Um, but we we like I'm not gonna lie, it was one of the most fun jobs because there'd be like five or six of us go to drive like an hour to Orlando, go to the auction, walk around all these ridiculously nice cars, get in a ridiculously nice car, and drive it back without a license plate. Like it was it was one of the more That's fun driving cool. experiences. Yeah, I had. nice. But nice. something something I learned though is like a lot of because after that, I started looking, because someone I went to uni with at the time was also selling cars, like, as a side business. So I started looking at, how does it work? Like, he was telling me, like, how you become, a, uh, how you can get qualified to get into auctions, all this kind of stuff. And I was looking into it. And, and I realized and learned, like, the amount of cars that, for example, where we were that came from New Orleans. And they came from New Orleans after, um, what was it, Katrina. And one of the biggest yeah. things that people were doing during that time was stuffing the cars full of drugs. And that's why they were hiding them. So all these secondhand, a lot of these secondhand cars were being sold from an inspection standpoint would be perfect. But inside the chassis in places, you'd find crazy stuff in there. So it's just like what? that That kind of thing isn't obviously like if I go to buy a car, I'm not going to be checking for drugs and stuff. But like, <laughs> just because you have an inspection, Do you mind if I it cut doesn't... open the chassis quickly. <laughs> <before I buy laughs> this? Just because just you have an inspection, it doesn't mean that you know what you're getting. Like there still yeah. could be something very yeah, weird right. about that car. Yeah. And I feel like going, but, I, I, I know that that could happen you whether think, you go to a dealership or not, but I yeah. just feel like that type but, of thing could slip through more so with when you buy online but, than if you but see then, something. But it person. says all of their cars must pass a rigorous 150 point inspection. Yeah, but I could yeah, but say it's, that. Especially it's not the chassis. Their 150 <laughs> point inspection, their rigorous 150 point inspection unless they explain exactly what all 150 points are, for all I know, could be them standing at 150 different spots around the car going, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she good. Just, I'd assume this this would come from, like, they didn't start with vending machine, right? They did a lot of things before that. So they've obviously, I'd imagine, built up a reputation first for people to trust them as a as a car yeah. sales and, and plus... It, it, it'll be good for their drug smuggling business because now because <laughs> now they can get the other drug dealers to pay them right yeah and they put the drugs in the car that they purchase yeah then they put their coin in and get the car and the drugs are in there for them it's ready to go see oh uh, how many people but work again, for these why do you need a vending machine <laughs> because no one will believe that drugs are coming out of a vending machine <laughs> <laughs> How many it's people? That's st- it's that stupid that no one would do it. it they should do it. Like, is this a yeah. tech company? I'm Essentially, not sure. I don't know. Because I'm just thinking, like, uh, this is, is. Does anyone actually work at the vending machine? I'm, I'm guessing there's no human at the vending machine, which just means the only part of the company is running the online service, and like servicing yeah, people. Uh, there has to be someone there, surely. Security guard. Maybe. You just 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 be sat there, and then when someone walks through the door, you go, Yeah, just put your coin over there. Because it's it's a big deal. deal It's it's a big deal if someone puts a coin in there and then it doesn't work. Because it's not like like you didn't get your your Snickers or whatever. (laughs) You get your Twix part. You didn't get like a 50 grand car. That's a bit of a bigger issue. So you want to have a help desk. You start kicking the machine, you try to put your hand up. (laughs) Shake it. You're trying to shake it to get your car to fall down. (laughs) Maxi, Maxi, it's got that number. You know that number on the vending machine? If your coin gets trapped or you (laughs) don't get in chocolate. I don't ever use that number, by the way. Is there no other way to try and get their 50 pence back? (laughs) No. Uh, At work, we have the guy come regularly because a bloke was calling up. Because he didn't get his chocolate bar. Oh. <laughs> whenever, whenever he didn't get his bar, he would call them up. So the poor guy had to come in regularly and drop off a dollar fifty to me. Oh. <laughs> no, remember CJ, you didn't get your Coke and you tapped your card on there and they yeah. sent the money back on your card? Like when you rang yeah. them up? 
Yeah. I rang him up because I was thirsty. I wanted the Coke. That's right. <laughs> yeah, but they gave you the Coke. Actually, they gave you the Coke remotely, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, vending machines are... They've uh, no, they, they, they can be activated by um telephone. Now. That's right. Oh, there you go. Just imagine Apparently, if you had to buy um, everything has through their vending own machine. Version of this. Hmm? Singapore has their own version. I, it, it's quite novel, and I think a lot of people would use it just to just to use the vending machine thing. There is zero like there's zero, I I've bought enough cars. There's zero chance I'd buy a car through a vending machine. I'd have to see it first. Mm. Yeah, me too. You'd upgrade to the test test drive one. But eat, like, eat, like again, like is someone there? Like, is there someone to ask questions and stuff? Like, part to me, buying a car isn't a case of me going, "I want this." Like, I need to talk to the people because they're the ex. Mm. Well, they know more than I do anyway. Um, yeah, and I and know I, what I need. And try to get a try to get a try to get a deal from them as well. And and it's, no it's all system. it's about comparison as well, isn't it? Like. If you if I was going to a dealership to unless I know what car I want before I'm buying it, if I'm going to a dealership for a second hand car, like I want to see what my options are. Like I don't just want to look on a screen. Like I want to actually see so, them in person. So I'm well, I wonder because obviously you aren't in their target audience then clearly, but I wonder if there is enough of a market for them to do this. Like it seems viable that they've had one and then decided to go make quite a few yeah. more. I'm in looking different places. at I'm looking at the pictures. Like I'm 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 Google Images. There's a bunch of different pictures of like the vending machine things and looking at the cars that are in them i'm definitely not their target market like they're not oh, okay. they don't look like <laughs> secondhand cars for your average person yeah they're high end they're high end i think they're there's some they're somewhere between i would say probably like a car you might buy and high end but if it's a car you might buy it's not like Oh, I need a i need an a to b it's a yeah i'm, I, I'm getting like the car now I'm, yeah i'm getting an, so they yeah they don't. I mean, one of these looks like it could be a Yaris, but then you've got like other stuff. In <laughs> how how are you going to fit in a Yaris? Hey mate, are I've you driven, taking, out, are you taking out the front seat? My siege, my favorite car, and I've had three of them. One, two, th four of them is a Golf. <laughs> Golf VW, but they're the ones that had all the issues, and they're expensive to run. No. They're not the ones one, that had all the issues. I two, bought they are. three, four. No. Golf. I not bought yours. One. Not yours in general. Those VW ones. No, Golf's they are really the reliable. Big re they had the big VW, recall. V no, VWs in general are really reliable. What the recall was about was the CO2, em CO2 emission amounts because of the way that they were the way they were doing their testing. But it's yeah. not to do with the reliability of them. They're really reliable as cars. Germany. How many, how many uh, Golfs did you have? I've had four. In three oh, different that's a, that's a four, four in three countries. <laughs> that's a bogey. That's a bogey, Alex. <laughs> that's a did double bogey. Him, did, you, did, did, did you drive him like this? <laughs> nah, one, one over the bar, Alex. I love him. <laughs> Disappointed with that score. I had, and they've all been different colours. I've had a green, a black, a silver, and a blue. <laughs> no red? Nah, I wouldn't get red. <laughs>